So I created an easy to use calculator for checking how much capital you need to receive X amount of dividends. So for example, gusto ko makareceive ng 10,000 pesos as passive income every month. Then in the calculator, I simply change one cell and it auto-calculates and estimates the capital that I need for each REIT. Kompleto po yan with 8 REITs in the market. A REIT, C REIT, DDNPR, Phil RT, M REIT, P REIT, RCR, and finally V REIT. The best thing about this, aside from being free, is the user or ikaw would only need to change one cell and that's how much you want to receive every month. Kung gusto mo nang subukan right now, then check the link in the description below and meron dyan copies ng um, Google Sheets and Excel versions. But if you wanna know how it works, stick around. Ito po ay first time kong mag-release ng free tool for you guys. So if this is gonna be helpful to you, please like and comment to let me know nakakatulong and uh, that will encourage me to create more tools like this in the future. Yung like and comment lang yung way para talaga malaman ko na nagiging helpful. So please consider doing it. So before I started creating this calculator, naisip ko na people always ask one common question pagdating sa pag-gauge or pag-evaluate ng isang investment. Ang tanong nila, magkano ang kikitain ko dyan? Maraming iba-ibang version ng question na to. Example, kung may nagaya sa'yo mag-invest sa isang small business, Ang tanong usually ay, magkano yung porsyento ko? Magkano yung makukuha ko? Kung co-op naman or cooperative, ang tanong ay, magkano naman ang minimum? Sa stock market, especially sa dividend-paying stocks, ang usual na tanong ay, magkano matatanggap ko if I invest X amount? Kung ito yung capital ko, magkano yung dividends, magkano yung dividend yield, magkano yung payout. So to create this calculator, binaligtad ko lang po yung tanong. Kung gusto ko makatanggap ng X amount, magkano ang capital na kailangan ko? yung capital ang magiging sagot. Let's say that you are a millennial like me in my late 20s, nangangarap ng financial freedom kahit kakasimula pa lang natin magtrabaho. So you think about passive income, naghahanap ka ng other sidelines to increase your income streams, naghahanap ka rin sa YouTube ng mga online side hustles with no capital, ganyan. Kung may mga ganun. Hindi ka naman maluho, so maybe hindi ganun kalaki o kataas ang kailangan mo to retire early. How early? Well, instead na 65 ka pa mag-retire, napapaisip ka, possible ba mag-retire at age 50? Maybe 40? 35 kaya. Siyempre, kung malapit na yung target early retirement mo, then normal lang na i-expect na mas mataas ang kailangan mong capital to generate um, passive income. Niisip mo, kung mag-retire kaya ako bukas, how much would I need to maintain my current lifestyle? Keyword guys is maintain ha? Hindi tataas, hindi bababa, sakto lang. Good news sa'yo kaibigan kasi there is an actual way to calculate this. Para malaman mo how much you need to retire and get passive income for life, you need to calculate what we call FIRE number. FIRE, or Financial Independence Retire Early, is exactly what it sounds like. It's a movement among younger, genera younger generations with one common goal, retire early. I am not gonna go into the details of the types of FIRE, mahabang discussion yan, kailangan ng sariling video. But I will introduce you to the rule of 25 to calculate your FIRE number. It suggests that you should accumulate a savings equal to 25 times your annual expenses. Okay, so let's talk about how to calculate your FIRE number using the rule of 25. Start by multiplying your monthly expenses, monthly ah, by 12 to determine your annual expenses. Next, multiply this annual expense by 25 to arrive at your FIRE number. Babalikan natin ulit to at magbibigay tayo ng examples on how, on how to use this in the calculator. Ngayon nakuha mo na ang FIRE number, tandaan mo lang muna ngayon is it represents the amount needed for retirement and suggestion lang yan, okay? Okay, game, example. For instance, your monthly expenses is 30,000 pesos. Multiplying by 12 results in an annual expense of 360,000 pesos. Multiply this by 25 and your FIRE number would be 9 million pesos. Okay, so 9 million pesos might sound intimidating for some, but actually in, in reality, baka hindi na rin ganun kalaki ang 9 million pesos sa panahon ngayon. Oo naman, life-changing pa rin yan, hindi yan barya-barya lang. But in the context of retiring early at this age, maybe not big enough. Now, maybe you're thinking, sobrang layo ko pa sa 9 million. Sinecheck ko ngayon yung apps, um, digital banks, investments. Pag sinamulhat ang iyong net worth, net worth, net worth, malayo ka pa sa 9 million pesos. Meron pa bang ibang paraan to somehow get passive income kahit hindi mo na ako mag-retire immediately? Inisip mo, okay, let's be realistic. Hindi pa naman ako mag-retire bukas. So, can I still invest while I'm saving up to reach that 9 million pesos target? 
Kung hindi pa kaya ang full 9 million pesos, then maybe kakayanin kung ibaba natin yung target, yung suggested target, or your fire number. In other words, kung hindi pa kaya ng full income replacement, then maybe income supplement muna. Dito papasok ang REITs and dividend yields. Okay, balik po tayo sa original example na monthly expense ay 30,000 pesos. You can input this in the calculator and it will automatically calculate how much you need to invest in one REIT company. Example, 30,000 pesos monthly or 90,000 pesos per quarter is 360,000 pesos per year. Yan yung gusto mong um, passive income per year. Kung ganyan ang situation mo, then kailangan mo ng 4.9 million pesos kung ilalagay mo lahat sa irit. Kung hindi pasok sa strategy mo, or investment plan ang ERIT, sleeping mo yung ibang REITs. Kung sa MREIT mo gusto ma-receive yung 360,000 pesos per year, then you would need 4.4 million pesos. So again, as I've said in the beginning, kompleto po itong tool with 8 REIT options. So ikaw na bahala kung anong REIT ang pasok sa strategy mo kung saan ka mas interesado. Now, if you're asking, bakit sobrang layo o sobrang baba sa fire number na 9 million pesos? Kanina we were talking about 9 million pesos as the target or the suggested target Ngayon, bumaba siya to 4.9, 4.4 million. Bakit ganun? Kasi po, the rule of 25 is simply the opposite version of the 4% rule. I will spare you again the details, pero the short version of the 4% rule is, ito ang safe withdrawal rate na hindi maapektuhan yung investment mo, hindi mauubos. Pag taas ng dividend yield ng isang REIT, then bababa yung capital na kailangan mo to achieve your target passive income. And since yung lahat ng REITs natin in the PSE, they all have dividend yields of above 4%, mas mababa sa 9 million pesos ang kailangan mo to receive 30,000 pesos of passive income per month. I hope that makes sense. Dito po sa calculator, some values are predictions lang in the future. Siyempre, dependent tayo sa um, disclosures na binibigay ng mga companies and every quarter nila binibigay yung dividend yield. An example of a prediction is, kinuha ko lang from Investagram yung latest cash dividends for each REIT. But since quarterly nga ito ni release I simply multiplied it by 4 to estimate the annual cash dividend. After you use this calculator to estimate how much capital you need to get the past income you want, hindi dyan natatapos yung early retirement planning. Now that you've done the first step, which is knowing your fire number and getting an estimate of um, the capital you need, then yung next step ngayon is mag-research. Kung hindi ka pa nag-trade, hindi ka pa nag-invest sa mga REITs in the PSE, I hope this list of REITs will um, interest you and this will serve as a stepping stone para makapag-research ka. Ngayon, kung hindi ka naman masyadong interesado mag-research and ang main question mo lang is aling rate ang kailangan ng pinakamababang capital, then the answer is simple. The answer will always be the REIT with the highest dividend yield. Hindi mo kailangan itong calculator to answer that. During the time of recording, si Vista REIT or si VREIT po ang pinakamataas na dividend yield and it's possible that it will change in the future. This tool is simply designed to aid you in your research and hindi nito masasagot objectively kung saan REIT ka dapat mag-invest. I will never create a video mag na magre-recommend ng specific stock, specific REIT, specific investment for that matter dahil magkakaiba tayo ng priority and strategy. Kung may kilala po kayo nagbibigay ng generic stock tips without considering the differences in individual scenarios and situation, nako mag-isip-isip na po kayo kasi one, hinahype niya lang yung stocks kasi meron siya or may ibibenta sa'yo na produkto yan. Not me kasi calculator is down below. Free yan. Go check it out.